Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be solving another question from the second chapter of the Merriam textbook question 79. And in this one, we need to determine the resultant of these three tension forces acting on the eyeball. And we need to find the magnitude of the resultant or R and the angle that it makes with positive side of x axis, which we're going to call it theta x. So we have x and y in the question. All we need to do in here is just to break down each of these forces to x and y component and at the end of this our r our, or our resultant would be sum of all forces in x direction which is going to give us the the x component and we need to find sum of all forces in y direction that's going to give us the j and at the end of this if we want to find the magnitude we have the magnitude of we can call this part rx and sum of all forces in y direction ry. So rx is squared plus ry squared is going to give us the magnitude of the r. So let's start with the rx, which we dimension it's going to be sum of all forces in x direction. So we have the x component of the 20 kilonewton force, which will be this force and this angle. If this one's 30, you're looking for this one, which will be 20 sine of 30 degrees plus. And since it's to the right, it will be positive. And we have also the x component of the 8 kilonewton, which will be this force in here or this one in here. And that's going to be 8 sine of 45 degrees now let's calculate this pull up our calculator so basically we have 20 sine of 30 degrees plus 8 sine of 45 degrees make sure to put the calculator in degree as we can see so that's going to give us 15 point if you round it up point 66 so this will be 15.66 kilonewton and if you want to find ry sum of all forces in y, a y direction so for the 20 kilonewton this would be the y so this time we have 20 cosine of 30 degrees and as we can see the other two are downward so for the 8 kilonewton this is the y component so negative 8 cosine of 45 degrees and we have the 4 kilonewton downward if we calculate this let's pull up the calculator so this time we have 20 cosine of 30 degrees uh, minus 8 cosine of 45 minus 4 and as we can see this is going to be 7.66 kilonewton now that we have our x and y component of r if you want to find the magnitude it's pretty easy 15.66 squared plus 7.66 squared so we have so we have the square root of 15.66 squared plus 7.66 squared and this is going to give us 17.43 kilonewton as the magnitude for finding the theta x or the angle that it makes with x axis we have to find the tangent inverse of ry over rx and the reason is that so at the end of this we have one single r that has so it's just considered this one ry and this one rx this will be our r so if we want to find this angle, which is basically our theta x or the angle that it makes with positive side of x, if we look at this right triangle in here, we need the opposite over the adjacent, which is ry over rx. And all we need to do in here is to find tangent inverse of 7.66 divided by 15.66. And this is going to give us 26.07 degrees so yeah that would be the final answer for this question so let me know if you have any questions feel free to drop it in the comment section don't forget to subscribe like and comment it's going to help me to reach out to more students and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one